Cetta. A quiet town at the foothills of the Apuan Alps in Tuscany. Its most durable export, carved from the mountainside, is marble. Any colour, any shape. Once a year, Querchetta comes alive with medieval rivalry. Locals put in hours of practice, adorn the town in team colours and prepare the competitors. Australia has the Melbourne Cup, Siena has the famous horse race around the piazza, but nothing quite beats the competition in Querchetta at this time of year. It's called Palio dei Michi, race of the donkeys. Eight teams contend for the annual donkey championships. There's no prize money and no betting is allowed. They compete for glory. These are just the time trials. There are no stewards here and the donkeys do get rough treatment on corners. This year, Team Ranocchio that's the frogs in green and yellow, reckon it's their year. In 50 years, they've only won four times. <laughs> Jockey turned trainer and breeder, Andrea Polacci, knows his donkeys. E come si conosce l'asino che cammina forte? Io si monta sopra. Si monta sopra e si va. Non è che si conosce. He's been rearing them since the age of 10. Ho constatato che l'asino è più intelligente che il cavallo. Perché al cavallo gli fai fare quello che vuole, quello che vuoi te. All'asino no. Capito? Lo fa più intelligente allora? Certo. Perché c'ha la mente da sé. Certo. L'asino percepisce anche il pericolo. Vai, 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 vai. Oh! This year, Team Ranocchio has brought in an outsider at the hefty fee of three and a half thousand dollars. Double that if it wins. A donkey and jockey from another region, 16-year-old Martina Righi and Piccione, a donkey named Pigeon. The rivalry between the eight teams is so intense that another questionable tactic is employed, injecting donkeys with substances quaintly referred to as vitamins. Ho sentito che delle volte ci danno vitamine, vero? Io amo queste cose di televisione si dicono, no? Perché? E dopo vengono fuori casi che... Ma li fanno tutti, no? Eh sì, li fanno tutti, però... Insomma, roba... Vitamine. Vitamine. Diciamo vita... vitamine. Vitamine. Race Eve. Confidence and spirits are high. Medieval tradition dictates lots of food and drink. Quest'anno sono molto 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 fiduciosi. Molto fiduciosi. Gli altri anni eravamo lì. Quest'anno mi sento molto fiducioso. Come ti senti? Un po' emozionata. Perché? Perché domani sei fai, sono un po' tesa. Ti senti di vincere domani? Non lo so, spero.
race day and no expense has been spared on the lavish parade around the city streets. As with all good Italian festas, the church plays a strong role in consecrating the festivities. Even the donkeys are blessed. Inside the stadium, the crowd is eager to see the race. But first, another three hours of show. A whole year of preparation has gone into this. Finally, the competitors arrive and line up and line up again and again a couple of false starts and 20 minutes later still the donkeys don't seem to want to stand behind that white line perhaps it's too many vitamins the crowd's getting impatient and so too are the jockeys Finally, the word is given. Ranocchio leads from the start. Maybe it is their year. But then, more upset. A disgruntled jockey stops the race. Violence breaks out and fans flood the track. Police have to restrain angry fans. The crowd just wants to see a donkey race, but not yet. Benocchio and one other team protest and have to be convinced to take part in a second race. They're off at a second attempt, but it's disaster for Anocchio. They miss the start, and Andrea tries in vain to stop the race again. But the race continues without Ranocchio. It's six laps of the oval for the remaining donkeys. It's more of a canter than a gallop. In an alleyway nearby, despair surrounds the Ranocchio team. This year, the winner is Team Leon Doro, the Golden Lion. The jockey is first trampled by his donkey and then his fans. Jubilation swamps the stadium. Maybe next year for Team Ranocchio.